Hello dear parents, how are you doing today? It's day two of Parents Awakening series and I'm so excited that you get to join in with me. Have you met yourself? Yes, you. Have you met you? Have I met myself? Why do we act the way we act? Why do we think the way we think? Why do we treat people the way we do? My name is Blessing Ola Dimeji. I'm the lead parenting consultant of Imperential Family Services, and I care about your parenting journey. Today we'll be sharing on self-awareness. To be a great parent, we need to be self-aware. We need to know why we behave the way we behave. We need to know if our behavior is drawing our children to us or chasing them away from us. Some of our children do not like our attitude. They don't like how we treat people around us, especially the domestic staff. They hate it, but because they probably can't do anything about it, they don't even know how to tell us but they do not like it. And that's why some children, as they grow older, they don't want to hang around their parents anymore because they might think their parents are embarrassing them. And also, if we're doing the positive things, it can be what makes our children listen to us. What can help our children change if there needs to be a change just by looking at the way we behave and they like it. Self-awareness is having a clear perception, knowledge of our values, our beliefs, our emotions, motivation, our strengths and weaknesses. Why are we behaving the way we are behaving? We need to know who we are as parents to be able to effectively parent our own children, to raise them to be awesome, and responsible adults. Self-awareness is very, very key because major, the major part of how we respond to life and how we behave is as a result of our upbringing, emotional experiences, our background, and the environments that we grew up in. So it's always good to take a pause and reflect how was my upbringing? How was my background? What circumstances surrounded the way I grew up? If my child is not in that same circumstance, then I shouldn't parent my child the way I was parented. There's a particular blender that um, when we were growing up, it was not properly, uh, the cover was not properly fixed. So you have to hold that blender when, while blending. So just in recent times, when I blend, I hold the cover. Apparently, I've been doing it all my life. I've left my parents' house for many years now, but I, I still do it. And one day, one of my princes asked me, said, Mom, why do you always hold this cover when blending? And I laughed out loud because I just <laughs> didn't even realize it had become something that I have been doing. So I explained to him that the one we were using many years back was faulty. So I just got used to it. That showed me how much our children observe us. You know, most of the things that we took in growing up went into our subconscious mind because it wasn't like we were called to be taught. We just observed, we watched, and those things got into us. So as much as possible, we have to be conscious as we raise our children. There are some baggages that we do not need right now. There are some limiting beliefs. There are some things that we say. A good example is a family, uh, a parent that grew up in a family where they gossip a lot. Like that is what they do. They only see the negative in people. So this parent now has grown into having their own children and are used to gossiping on the phone with their friends. 
and sadly their child is right beside them every time they do so so before you know what is happening unconsciously that child is getting to know oh, you can gossip you can talk about people you can talk down on others and that child can grow up to do things like this this is why we have to be self-aware we have to look at it that there are some things that happened to us when we were growing up and we did not deal with that's why some parents will tell you that they cannot stop shouting why can't we stop shouting I have three boys and I've not always been this way as a parent. The way I am right now, it had to do a lot of unlearning and relearning and learning new approaches to parenting. So you can stop shouting if you are that parent that still shouts while talking to your children. You can definitely stop. You just have to get conscious that Maybe I was being shouted at while growing up. I don't have to continue. My children can listen to me without shouting. So some of us might even have to apologize to our children that we have actually been reflecting something wrongly because we have not checked ourselves out. I want to challenge you today. Take a paper and take a pen and sit to see why do I act like this? What has formed my belief around this thing? Why do I treat my mates the way I do? Yes, some of us, while growing up, we observed and saw our parents treated mates very poorly. Drivers, security men, and we feel that's how to treat them. So you want to sit and say, I couldn't control that part of my life. But now I'm in charge. So it's time to do things better. I trust you have learned, learned something today and you will share and get ready for tomorrow's video. Thank you for listening. I remain blessed. Allah Dimeji. Bye.